Three months after United Flight 232 crash landed in Sioux City, Iowa, a farmer finds the crucial piece of the puzzle lying in her field about 60 miles from the airport. This was a whole, I came across the combine and the combine met with resistance. I backed up and I thought, oh my gosh, this is it. The massive disc is broken into two pieces. How could it break like that? The titanium alloy used to make this vital part is extremely strong and resilient. It shouldn't just snap in two. Take a look at this. It didn't happen overnight. A close examination of the broken part reveals surprising evidence of why it fractured. It's definitely fatigue. Can you cut me a small section from here? Investigators need to know what had weakened this powerful alloy. They trace the fracture back to where it began and remove the section for testing. They find elements that should not be in the metal, nitrogen and oxygen mixed in with the titanium. A bad batch of titanium? I'd say so. Investigators conclude that a microscopic imperfection in the titanium used to make the fan blade caused a crack that developed slowly over 17 years. The NTSB immediately recommends more thorough inspections of all engine fan discs. Titanium is now melted three times in a vacuum to remove impurities. The DC-10's hydraulic system also gets an upgrade. Designers add a series of valves so that a line can be sealed in case of a rupture. Every accident is a learning experience. And uh, Sioux City, although it was uh, several decades ago, it continues to be a learning experience. 